So today, I'm going to show you how to solve algebra equations where there are variables on both sides, but there's also fractions in them. And I'm actually going to show you how to do it in two different ways, okay? So look at this first example. It says 4 fifths x minus 3 equals 2 thirds x plus 1. So we've got x's on both sides. And my first step is always to subtract off all the x's off one side so that there are only x's on one side of the equal sign. So I know I'm going to have to subtract 2 thirds x on both sides. But before I can subtract fractions, I really need a common denominator here. So I'm going to have to first find my common denominator of 4 fifths and 2 thirds. And I know from looking at it, 5 and 3, 15 is my common denominator, so that's what I'm going to use. 5 times 3 is 15, so 4 times 3 gets me my top. 3 times 5 gets me 15, so 2 times 5 gets me my top here. And now I can rewrite this equation. So instead of 4 fifths x, I'll use 12 15 x minus 3 equals, instead of 2 thirds x, I'll do 10 15 x plus 1. All right, so all I've done here is rewritten the equation so that the, equi so that the fractions have a common denominator. Because now I've got x's on both sides, my next step is to subtract off all the x's off one side. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. All right. When I do that, these undo each other. But 12 fifteenths take away 10 fifteenths gets me 2 fifteenths. So this is 2 fifteenths x. The minus 3 drops down. The equals drops down. And all that's left on the other side is just this 1. All right. Now I'm going to undo the minus 3. So I'll add 3 to both sides of the equal sign. When I do that, the 3's undo each other. 2 fifteenths x drops down, equals drops down, and this is 4. And then for my last step, I'm going to undo that fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal. And when I do that, the fractions undo each other, because 15 over 2 times 2 over 15 makes 1 whole, so this becomes 1 whole x equals. On the other side, I'll do 4 times 15 over 2. I can just think of it as 4 over 1. So 4 times 15 is 60. 1 times 2 is 2. And 60 over 2 is just 30. And you can also do that on your calculator if you want to. All right? But there you go. There is one way to solve this equation by finding a common denominator. Now, the second method I'm going to show you in this second method, I'm going to eliminate all the fractions on the very first step. OK? So in this equation, I've got two fractions. The first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by whatever the common denominator would be. And we already know from the previous problem that the common denominator here is 15. So I'm going to multiply this whole side by 15. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. All right. Or I'm going to put 15 over 1. Since I'm multiplying by fractions, just to make things simpler. All right, so I have to multiply everything in here by 15. 15 over 1 times 4 over 5. 15 times 4 is 60. 1 times 5 is 5, so this is 60 over 5x minus, we also have to do 15 times 3, which is 45. Now, on the other side, I have to multiply everything over here by 15. 15 times 2 is 30. 3 times 1 is 3x, plus 1 times 15 is 15. Now, at first you're thinking, that seems like a very ugly, scary problem. But it turns out this isn't, because 60 divided by 5 is a whole number. 60 divided by 5 is just 12, so this is just 12x. And on the other side, 30 divided by 3, that's also just a whole number. 30 divided by 3 is just 10. So this is 10x plus 15. So by multiplying both sides by the common denominator, it ends up making the fractions into fractions that can just turn into whole numbers. All right, And this algebra equation is the one we're going to solve to get our answer. All right, so let's do that. x is on both sides. I'm going to subtract off 10x on both sides, so that way there's only x's on the left-hand side. 12x take away 10x is 2x. Drop down my 45 or minus 45. Drop down my equals and drop down my 15. Now, to undo the minus 45, I'm going to add 45 to both sides. I end up getting, let's see, these undo each other. 
2x equals 60. And then for my last step, divide both sides by 2. And the 2's undo each other. x equals 60 divided by 2 is 30. So there you go. Got the exact same answer because it was the exact same equation. But I just used a different method. And it might look like this one takes more steps, but really, a lot of people can do the, this first step in their head by just multiplying it or using a calculator because every time you multiply this side by the common denominator, those fractions will automatically become whole numbers. All right? So it just depends on what kind of problem you're doing. Sometimes the first method is better. Sometimes the second method is better. It just depends on the situation. But feel free to use whichever one works best for you. So hopefully this video helped you. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.